Welcome back. This is our video solution to problem three from Super Quiz 2. In this problem, we're going to be parametrizing some of the typical curves that we, well, we'll eventually want to integrate over. So let's see. Let's jump into part A where we're going to be parametrizing a circle. So circles are, are pretty straightforward, only there's a little twist here uh, in that it's going to be occurring in the YZ plane rather than the usual XY plane. And we have a center at 0, 2, negative 4, the radius is 3, and the rest is pretty standard. Traverse once, ooh, we should make note here, right? It's clockwise, not counterclockwise. Uh, that's going to um, just make it so that we have a little small tweak in the parameterization. So we'll start by writing down our vector function r. And let's see, so since this is going to be in the yz plane, and we see here, right, the x-coordinate is zero, right? That makes sense, right? In the yz plane, the x-coordinate is always zero. So we'll actually just start off with a zero in the first component. Okay, well, let's see. In the second component, since the center in the uh, y component is two, we're going to start with a two. And then we're going to add, well, let's see. We jump over here. The radius is three times the cosine of, well, since we're going clockwise, we're going to put in a, a minus t. Now, you might object and say, well, cosine doesn't care whether you put in a t or a minus t, and that's true. Uh, but it, it's useful when you write it down at first to sort of understand that you, this is how we know we're doing it clockwise, is we're replacing all of our, our usual t's with minus t's, even if some of them will eventually go away. That way you don't have to memorize, oh, well, the cosine always gets a positive and the sine gets a negative when we go clockwise. All right, now let's jump over into the, the z coordinate. So the center is at negative four, so we'll put a negative four plus three, and now we do the sine of, again, instead of t, we'll go negative t. Now we need to give some uh, bounds for t. We want to produce a domain. Uh, normally, when we want to go once around, we go zero to two pi, and heck, we're still going once around, so zero to two pi should work just fine. So that is our parameterization for the circle. All right, so the second one is going to be like the first one. Uh, the first one was a circle. This one is an ellipse. Only uh, key here is it's actually only the bottom half of the ellipse. So maybe we'll try to draw a picture of this down here. Now it's going to be in the XZ plane, or actually not quite in the XZ plane, but parallel to the XZ plane. All right, so if we were going to draw a picture of this, right, maybe we draw three dimensions, and you say there's X, there's Y, and there's Z. And now the XZ plane is actually, right, this plane here. And but it's not in the XZ plane exactly. It's actually going to be, well, let's see. Ah, the center, look at the Y coordinate. Is it negative three? So it's actually, let's see, let's erase all this stuff. Um, if the Y axis continued on, all right, if we could draw it going this way, we could draw a parallel plane to the XZ plane. Looks like that. And this is at Y equals negative three. And so the ellipse is actually going to live in this plane over here. Okay, now let's see. Uh, the z-coordinate of the center is actually at 0, and the x-coordinate is at 1. So x-coordinate maybe could come out like this. So there would be z0, y-3, and x1. And it's just the bottom half of the ellipse. All right, so since it has x radius 2, that means, let's see, we would go 2 to one side, that would be negative 1. 2 to the other side, that would be a 3. And it's going to go down 7. And that just gets tricky for me to, <laughs> to draw, but it'll go way, 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 way down. All right, so, okay, so it's going to come down and then up. So you get this bottom half of an ellipse. Uh, it's going to be traversed, it says, once counterclockwise. So counterclockwise, let's see, clockwise would be this way, so counterclockwise means we'll go that way. All right, so uh, let's try to parameterize this thing. 
So let's see. Uh, since this is going to be parallel to the XZ plane, uh, we're only going to have things really in the X and the Z components. The Y component will just be a constant. In fact, we can see it'll be negative 3. So we can put a negative 3 in the middle. Uh, let's see. The X coordinate, well, we get a 1. Then plus 2 times, we'll use cosine of T. And then in the Z direction, well, there's a 0 here, so we don't have to do any, any plus here. Uh, but the Z radius is 7, so we'll get 7 sine of T. Okay, now we need to put a domain for T. Now, normally, we would have this whole ellipse, and we would start at 0 and go all the way around to 2 pi. But since we only want the bottom half, instead of starting at 0, we, only, we want to wait till we get to here to start, so that's at pi. So t will be at least pi, and then we'll go all the way to the end of the period at 2 pi. All right, so there is our, our bottom half of the ellipse parallel to the xz plane with all the other uh, accoutrements. Okay, how about part c? So this is just a line segment. These are, these are really fast and snappy to do. So we start with 2, 3, 4, and we're going to go to negative 1, 6, 7, so we'll have a 2. And we ask, how far do you move in the x direction? Well, you go from 2 down to negative 1. So you go down by 3, so we'll do minus 3t. All right, then in the y component, we'll start at 3, and we go from 3 to 6, so up by 3, so plus 3t. Then in the z component, we start at 4, and we also go up by 3. So we'll go, again, plus 3t. And with these line segments, right, using this method, we always can let the domain for t be from 0 to 1. All right, last one. So this is one of those uh, where we're given a curve explicitly. In this case, uh, the x is given as an explicit function of y. So the x-coordinate will be the sine of this junk plus 1, and the y we can just replace with a t. Okay, You could just write everything in terms of y, that would be fine, but our convention is always writing our r as a function of t. So the y component just becomes a t, and the x component becomes sine of 2t plus 8 plus 1. And now the t domain, well, it was the same as the y domain, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. All right, parameterizations of plenty. Uh, check out uh, another video in the description for more examples of this, and let me know if you have any questions.